Hi everyone, my name is Ava and I'm an American living in the Netherlands. You know I like living in the Netherlands, right? There's a lot of great stuff, a lot of different stuff that keeps it interesting. So in this latest edition of stuff that is different from what I'm used to in the US, I wanted to talk about supermarket items, food items in particular, that I had never seen before until I moved to the Netherlands. So let us start with food item number one. And I'm going to say already that this food item is not one item, but rather a type of items. And those would be your spreads for bread. In America, we might have a few interesting things that go on your bread, but nothing compared to Dutch people and the Netherlands. I have truly, truly in my time here, been amazed at all the options that are just available to you. Let's start with some options that are interesting and different, but you know, nothing too out there, nothing that I would think was completely unexpected. So like cheese spreads, you know, cheese that you can, like spreadable cheese. In America, we have cream cheese, which is called Philadelphia here because apparently that's not cheese. So the word cheese does not apply to Philadelphia cream cheese. I learned something when I moved to Europe. But that said, the Dutch folk have their own version of this, like uh, smerkas, which is just, you know, cheese that you spread, literally. That's what it's called. And then I've also seen some of these spreadable cheeses in a tube because well, why not? Toothpaste comes in a tube. Why not put some spreadable cheese in it as well? So there's that. And I thought, okay, that's interesting. I don't know if I particularly want that on my bread. I haven't tried it. I probably should, you know, why not? But I haven't. But some of the stuff that I have tried that I hadn't quite seen in the US, maybe because they're just new, are like sweet potato spreads, etc., etc. It can also be used as dips. So sweet potato, or um, I've seen some uh, beet spreads. Now, isn't that nice? So that's also stuff I hadn't seen until I moved here. And I thought that's some wonderful things that I can put on my bread. But then it gets strange. Like we're entering the portion of this segment where it's like, what were you thinking? So <laughs> there's some, um, let's say, uh, delicious food items here in the Netherlands. Uh, they're in Indonesian or Surinamese origin often as well. And that is relevant because I had to do a double take when I saw things like kip satay spread for your bread in a little, little packet. Sorry, just say, you know, and then uh, kip curry. Oh, for the international people, kip is chicken. So chicken curry, chicken satay, but, but not, you know, so you can go home and heat it up and eat it on top of like rice or eat it with bread or something. No, 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 no. You put it cold on your bread. And yeah, so, you know, that's one thing. And then it, but then it gets, you think this is okay, this is a pretty strange, but then it gets a little bit stranger. Uh, and that is when we enter the world of filet American, which kind of sounds like American filet. And here I was thinking, oh, maybe this is something I recognize. I do not recognize this thing. Uh, it is basically like a bunch of different types of meat some of it raw at least, an egg all mushed together and that you can put on your bread. Wow, Dutch folks watching this video, do you eat this for lunch? Like, what does it taste like? Because I'm vegetarian, so thankfully that is a built-in excuse for me to never have to try this because it sounds horrific. And as an American, I don't even know what this is, so I don't know why you think that in America we eat this. Okay, for the record, I looked this up and I will have to say that apparently the name has nothing to do with America, but it sounds like it does. But then I read that and I was a bit relieved because otherwise, what does it say about Americans? Moving on to thing number two, and that is asparagus. You're probably thinking, Ava, don't you have asparagus in America? Why, yes, we do. But do we have white asparagus? And you know, the answer is, I'm not sure. Maybe in some stores they do carry white asparagus, but I had never seen them in the flesh. Like I knew in the back of my mind somewhere that there was a thing called white asparagus out there. Um, and that was a big thing in Europe because the word reached America that certain countries in Europe are obsessed with it. And the Netherlands happens to be one of them. 
So I had never seen white asparagus in the wild, but in the wild meaning like the Albertine supermarket. And so in the wild, saw the white asparagus and I was like, this is how I know I'm in the Netherlands. And let me tell you, if you are not Dutch and watching this, that Dutch folks really, really like white asparagus. And you know how I know that? It's because they gave it a nickname. I mean, I give my cat a nickname, my girlfriend a nickname. Obviously, Dutch people have to like white asparagus because it gave it a nickname. And they call it the white gold. So I think that nickname just says it all. Moving on to the next item on this list, and that is ketchup. Isn't ketchup American, you might be wondering? No, not talking about ketchup, I'm talking about ketchup. If I'm being totally honest with you, I don't know if I said those two words differently, but they are different. They are two very different things that sound similar, and tomato ketchup is American, right? And I'm familiar with tomato ketchup because it is a big thing in the US, even if it's not American. Pretty sure it's American, right? Well, so there's tomato ketchup, and then there is this liquidy blackish um, stuff that's called ketchup. And this is Indonesian, I believe, and you put it with, well, lots of Indonesian dishes that Dutch people like to make at home. And Dutch people are obsessed with this stuff. Like I knew a couple of Dutch people in America and they would have their friends and family bring, well, some chocolate, that's Dutch, some cheese that's Dutch, and hakkelslag, stroopwafels, etc, etc, and ketchup. And I thought it was the funniest thing because I had no idea what it is. And well, like I said, it's this liquidy black thing. It is a bit sweet. So when you add it, think of it, when you add it to like fried rice or something, think of it as like a sweet sauce. And it is kind of nice. Uh, we have it at home and we use it all the time but I had never seen this before. I had no idea what it was until I moved to the Netherlands. Okay, so we started this video with, oh my God, what were Dutch people thinking when they came up with these weird spreads that do not sound remotely appetizing. But now I'm gonna talk about the flip side where I just feel like, whoa, Dutch supermarkets, Dutch people have gotten life figured out. And that is when I talk about bread that you can finish baking at home. I, I really don't think I've seen this in the US and American bread is notoriously disgusting. So I don't even know where such a thing would exist. But if you're American and you know, let me know. But I don't have to worry about this anymore. I live in the Netherlands and in the Netherlands, basically any supermarket, you could find a whole section of just bread that is you know like different shapes so it could be little buns they could even be croissants it could be triangular bread square breads Ooh, the world is your oyster and they're all in these like plastic uh coverings and then you could take them home and then you can bake them for like six to eight minutes that's usually the average and then you have like pretty fresh bread that's genius Oh my God, I am obsessed with it. I'm so addicted to this stuff. I buy it all the time. Well, less so now, but when I moved, I basically refused to eat any other kind of bread because I was just like, first of all, it makes me feel like a like a professional baker, you know? I'm like putting all these like buns on a, on a little tray and then I'm ready to go and then they come out and they're all fresh and like pretty fresh and crispy and I it's just warm and I just think, wow, I have done it. This is fantastic. I almost feel like I have my own little bakery going on for like zero effort. All I have to do is take them out of this bag and put them in the oven. Incredible. So I used to eat so much of this. Like I said, it completely replaced normal bread. And then at some point my girlfriend had to be like, Ava, I know you like this stuff, but we also have to eat normal bread. And especially since the prices slowly kept on increasing, she was like, we can't do this anymore. They're just way too expensive, but they're also so good. And the final item on today's list is Garfon Sevitan. I think I'm saying that right. Garfon Sevitan to those who are not Dutch. And I don't know what other countries have this because I had really never seen this anywhere until I moved to the Netherlands. It is sort of this like, well, it's uh, some juice, syrup. I'm clearly not an expert on Garfon Sevitan, 
but it's uh, this syrup and it's sweet and it comes in different flavors and you can buy a huge bottle of it and well, a pretty big bottle of it and then you can bring it home and then you can put some of that syrup in a glass so not a lot and then you add water to it so it becomes like this juice not juice syrup water i don't know what is it even so it's this mysterious liquid that you put in a glass add some water to it and basically the whole idea is that you put a little bit and then you add water so to me this is smart because you pay for this huge bottle and then you can use it for a really, really long time. Now that is smart thinking. It's like you're really getting a big bang for your buck. No wonder this thing is so popular in the Netherlands. Like everyone's like, you really get your money's worth if you get it. And seriously, like when I was thinking of non-alcoholic options for people when they come over for dinner and stuff and my girlfriend mentioned this, I thought, well, this is some strange niche thing that you're buying but no after that i noticed that very many people just have it at home so those were a few supermarket items that i'd never seen before i moved to the netherlands if you think i left anything out feel free to let me know in the comments down below and as usual if you haven't subscribed don't forget to hit that button and until next time